Welcome, FNUSA57 here, once again on my Xbox One, and today I will be bringing you yet another new video. Today's video is going to be dedicated to my first impressions and some gameplay for each of the classes in the brand new Outriders demo. So, yes, it is a demo. Um, it's actually been out for a little while here, as you can see, Outriders demo, if you search in the Xbox Store. You will find it. It's been out for a couple weeks, so you'll probably see a bunch of different various videos for this game. But I have been asked repeatedly in the comment section and on my live streams over on Twitch um, whether or not I would be playing this game, what my opinions of it were, and everything. So I was interested in the game. I wanted to try it. I did put in an application to see if I could get a review copy of the game. Uh, unfortunately, I did not hear back as of yet on it. But uh, I went ahead and said, well, I'll go ahead and try this demo because it is not a beta for anyone wondering. First, let's clear that up. It is not a beta. It is a demo. And the major difference between those two things right now is this is closer to a finished product than what a quote beta would be also on top of that your progress in this quote demo transfers over to the full game as far as i've been told it also runs up until just before the launch of the full game in april 2021 with that being said, of course, if we take a look, uh, it is a demo, so achievements are not supported on this. There's a number of looking for group posts, uh, you know, if you want to find other people to play with. And as far as I'm aware, even the demo is cross-platform compatible. The full game is definitely supposed to be. So it's got a lot of interest surrounding that and should be pretty damn good hopefully fingers crossed knock on wood pet the cat we need a good game <clears throat> with that being said hopefully i will be able to get a review copy of it and play it since uh it does release in april which my birthday is also in april so that would be a nice little present if at all possible but we'll see what happens i'll keep you guys updated <clears throat> moving on this game is supposed to be classed basically as a looter shooter. Now, that does give me a little bit of concern because other games that have been classed as looter shooters have gone horribly wrong. But some games also classed as looter shooters have gone horribly right. So, we will have to see what exactly happens with it. Sorry. Now, the combat in this game is supposed to be a little different and may take some getting used to, but I have played a bunch of different games, so it shouldn't be that terribly bad. Uh, I don't know. It's just supposed to be a little bit different. We're going to go through the cinematics, see what's going on. Um, it's supposed to be pretty fun, though, and almost have a little bit of that old-school brutal kind of gears feel but we're gonna see how exactly it goes the anomaly should have killed us uh, so I'm not gonna skip the cutscene immediately just because this is my first time seeing anything really in depth on the gameplay and like I said it is supposed to be pretty cool if you guys want to try it I would recommend you try it but I would caution one big concern which is the major concern that I have. Since the game right now is classified as a demo and your progress is transferred from the demo to the full game, I am slightly worried about the achievement tracking. And this is something that I hope that Square Annex is um, aware of. And they're not going to have the same problems like Fallout 76 did. Now, I know that game's a bit of a taboo because of how bad that launch was for that game but with that being said it did have and still does have to this day major issues with the achievements tracking for anyone that did play in that demo so hopefully we don't run into the same issue here 
and I am going to operate on the pretense that we're not going to run into the same issue. So if I like... Alright, so my apologies for the extra time spent there. You do have to have one of these Square Enix account, and uh, you do have to make sure that that is linked before you can actually access this demo. That process took entirely too long. Uh, so we do have some basic character customization available to us. You can have a male or female character, and then, of course, you can customize the character. Now, I've never really been that much into character customization, so we're just going to kind of go over it a little bit. Obviously, it's still the demo. Plenty of things can change. Um, you can muck around with your your body type. Uh, you can rotate the character so you can make your character, you know, darker, lighter. Uh, randomize it however you really want uh, to do so. You can, of course, select your hairstyle. Or you can select whether you have a beard or not. So hairstyle, facial hair, whatever you want to do. No facial hair. Uh, hair color is pretty basic. And then, of course, we can do markings. So if you want your character to have any sort of scars, no scars, um, pierced ears, or like a weird sort of tattoo piercing on your forehead, that type of thing. You can customize it if you want, but that's about as far as the customization lets us go. And of course we can do a character name, obviously, because you guys know it's me. You know what my character name is going to be called. I'm really original on this. Let's see if it allows it. Nope. Uh, alphabet only. So we're just going to call him. Uh, and it must be three characters. Wow. Striking out here. All right. We'll just abbreviate it. Now let's see what we can do. See, here we go. If any progress that you make can be carried over to the main game. Um, it's drop-in, drop-out co-op. Uh, this demo is actually not as big as they let you on. So just... Just keep that in mind. Uh, so there's world tier in this game, which is going to give you enemy level and everything. Um, now, you have to unlock it by getting better gear, I do believe. Uh, and I think the highest you can get to is you can get to world tier 5, ready to go to world tier six i believe or at least that's what one of my friends told me i'm not sure if you can go all the way to world tier 15 or not but let's just go ahead and start off with this um story point we're at the very beginning never played so we're not going to have a choice on that one all right start new game Audio might be a little loud, so we may have to actually turn that master volume down a little bit. I'm not sure how loud it's going to be on the recording. I know I've had to use up several minutes just getting into the game and making the character. Uh, overall, the customization for your character isn't really impressive to me, but it's also not really a thing that I care that much about. I know some people are super into customization in games. For me, it's about the gameplay, the achievements, and whether or not the game has a reason for me to play it after I have all of the achievements. 
So let's go ahead and find out where this whole thing started. We destroyed Earth. Okay, well, that's plausible. Planet Enoch, humanity's last damn chance. Okay. Cinematic-wise, I mean, it's detailed. I don't have the brand new Series X console. I'm still on an Xbox One console. I hope to have a Series X console eventually. I'm sure the game will run better and look better on a Series X, but... Let me know uh, if you guys play it on the Series X, just out of curiosity. I will be showing each class. Um, I've been told by my friends there's three classes that you can choose from, but I will be skipping cutscenes once I've seen them for the first time. Man, we are 20 seconds to atmosphere breach. Initiate burn. Rotate down break. Primary ignition set to 30 percent. Rotating. We are engine first. Altitude 20,000 feet and falling. Mode one. We are getting interference. Switch to high gain antenna. Command, confirm signal strength. You are looking great, Mode one. Go for landing. Engines off. Pod one has landed. Now there is supposed to be enough save space to uh, have one of each character class without an issue. So that should be kind of cool. The whole three character class kind of gives me the initial impression like Destiny-esque. I'm starting to think this might be a bit of a, um, a bit of a Destiny slash bullet storm slash gears. That's what worries me. Well, boss, you ready? Got my truck. Can't wait to actually get into the combat, but I kind of want to see at least how the cinematics are done. Obviously, it's a demo, so I'm not expecting every single texture layer or things like that to be in place. But I do like to see if, you know, weapons or anything clip through. Flores is already half dismantled. Our engine's on its way down to power a city of half a million. Now, if these outrider bozos hit pay dirt, you report to me first. Sir, I'm only here to answer a proper procedure this fall. We're not on Earth, Shearer. There is no proper procedure. Listen up, Outriders. I know what you're all thinking. There's no going home. And no one has a clue what's waiting for us out there. But the ECA pencil heads can't green like this land until we find their missing probes. So let's do our job! All right. Well, that was interesting. Load times don't seem to be too horribly bad in the demo either. That's another problem that a lot of games have had recently is loading times are horrendous. So hopefully that's that's not going to be an issue here. Mostly I'm concerned with how the end game for this game is going to be. But like I said, I do want to play it. Oh, uh, come on. I was just saying about how good the loading times were. And I don't have anything else updating or downloading or anything like that. So there's nothing, uh, no other draw on my internet. If the load times get too bad, I will edit them out. Because I don't know how many of them we're going to run into here. They definitely could have been a little more detailed with the environment, but let's just keep that in mind. Pretty much concerned about the gameplay. While graphics I do find to be extremely important, the number one and number two things for me are gameplay and then stability of the game. 
stretch my damn legs. I'll take point. Don't need to see it get eaten on day one. Relax, Outrider. You don't owe me anything. Jack, I wouldn't be here without you. I'd be buried in the ashes back home. <laughs> All right. Let's move out. Stay sharp. Watch our six it. <sighs> Would you smell that? All right, so camera spin speed is pretty like damn fast it used to it. <laughs> trust me you'll get used to fresh air too i might actually have to tweak the controls on that survivor's guilt you think any one of us isn't feeling it it's not just be mm -hmm. interesting for mantle hadn't exploded back on earth and killed most of the real outriders with it there would be a bunch of mercenaries down here in their place I hired you because you don't let anything get in your way. We'll make camp here. Outrider, set a beacon flag. Let HQ know the area's secure. All right, so we can't sprint yet. Don't know what that thing is. People, we got jobs to do. Cuthbert, Scarstead, set up a perimeter. I want fortifications going up within the hour. Jakob, you're field testing the munitions. Gutman, get your scanner up and running so we can find those damn probes. Outrider, a word. Hey. No matter what happens out here, I need my best gun. All right, we do have the option to skip uh, cutscenes and dialogue. It's kind of cool. Nearly a century. Why don't you head over to Jacob and get your gear checked, and then be prepared to move out as soon as those probes are located. Any questions? No word from Earth, I assume. It's really gone. She went dark 15 years into our journey. More or less, as predicted. ACA's confirmed no communication since. Shit. You know, I uh, grew up a slum dog, fighting for scraps. Lost everyone, really, long before the end. Doomsday just wasn't a thing I worried about. Hell, it was never going to live past 20 anyway. Somehow, <laughs> I was one of the ones who made it. Don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. As things go right, time's coming. You're gonna have to leave all that behind. This is a new beginning. You could have a family here. Build a cabin. Grow old and get fat. Yeah, that's not me, Cap. Know my way around bullets, not kids. Gonna be no need for someone like me here. Maybe the old you, Outrider. But you're one of the chosen few. You get to build the future. Don't waste it. I'll go find Jakob's shooting range. Good. All right. So I'm not going to go through, for the purposes of this video, every single one of those little dialogue prompts because that's kind of annoying um, we do have to wait for this vehicle to get out of our way now there is lore in like the journal and stuff that you can explore uh, there's a whole bunch of lore on people and enemies the planet all sorts of shit so if you want to do that, you can, but we're going to get down to the actual gameplay here as fast as possible and where we get to choose our classes. I know that look you get.
Time to test my gear. Uh, up for some target practice, boss. Let's get started. Let's see how fast, like, the aim speed, spin speed, all that is. Ooh, fancy stuff. Yeah, a new toy. So we can enter cover pretty much just like gears. Think you could take on a tank? Okay, aimed in movement speed, we're going to have to adjust a little bit. Not so sure about the whole press and hold system. All right, you can stop showing off. Did I ever mention how glad I am to be on your side? I'm not sure for how much longer we have to do this. There we go, we got some nice ammo. I still don't know exactly how to sprint yet. I can tell the combat is gonna be a little This is hey. feels a little clunky. I'm sorry. Oh. I'll have to mess with the controls. Good thing I'm skipping some of this cutscene stuff, because... Oh my goodness. That would have been a really, really long uh, talking point there. Is that supposed to blink that way? Oh, 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 oh. That's a probe. Tanner. Right, let's get to combat, though, because I don't want to spend all day listening to dialogue. Wait for them to get that tree out of our way. Alright, let's get to seeing what we're doing here and get to playing some classes. Whoa, got eyes on some kind of cow things. Yeah, I'm seeing them over here too. A whole herd of them. Are we sure all the wildlife around here are vegetarian? Arbivores? We call them arbivores? Whatever. They look pretty ugly, you ask me. No, they're they're astonishing. I bet they Alright, we've got our faster movement speed now. Sonic itself right on my path. Hey, maybe you can get close enough to get a DNA sample. Not exactly our priority, but if I can get close Similar cover to cover movement system. Nah. Scared it off. But I've secured the objective. Fantastic. Got some kind of storm brewing. Cap, yeah, found the probe. Looks like it landed pretty hard, but the data seems intact. Copy that. Transmitting to HQ now. Good work, Outrider. Hold on. Tanner? I'm picking up a second signal. But something's weird about this one. Weird? The pitch is rising and falling? It's supposed to be a steady tone. Outrider Alpha to HQ. Hold off on calling in that green light. We got another probe out here to analyze. Negative, Alpha. Your job is done. Damn it. Maxwell, listen to me. We can't afford to make mistakes. Give us time. Any more time and we lose our orbital window. We have the data. I'm calling it in. You want to keep searching? Don't blame me if you find trouble. Over and out. <sighs> All right, Outriders. Rendezvous back with the convoy. Let's go find that stray. 
Alright, now pretty soon we should get into some combat. There we go. Now we have the ability to sprint. I've been waiting for that ability for a while. Looks like we're going to be able to carry two primary weapons and a sidearm at all times. <clears throat> Not sure about the whole skill tree and skill usage just yet. Hey, Cuthbert. Any updates? The probe signal is mostly noise, but I've tracked its source. There. Hope you all brought your galoshes. Ooh. Jacob. Mm. Same shit, different planet. Ochevishcha. <laughs> Yeah, I can't have too many of these whole cutscene things. I can tell where this is going. This is <laughs> kind of going to, uh, in, in a way, it's probably going to be a bit like Anthem if, with the aspect that there's going to be a lot of lore in uh, sections to go through. Of course, I'm just playing through what would effectively be considered the tutorial right now. We'll get to classes soon enough, even if I have to do a little bit of editing. Hey, boss, we lost you. Getting her straight probe. How's Scarstead? He looks like shit. Any idea with this black... Alright, so this thing's... This is going to be so weird with the, um, everything being on B, like, movement-wise. Alright, he's got a little more range than I thought that he would. He's got a lot more range, actually, than I thought he would have. Captain, got attacked by one of those cow things. Something drove it crazy. I had to put it down. Keep an eye out. Copy that, Outrider. Now move your ass and find that probe. Good work. Get the drive to get the hell out. Wait, hold on. This thing's just in relay mode. Tanner, the signal isn't coming from the probe. It's coming from outside our search zone, somewhere else on the planet. That's impossible. There is nobody else. Secure the hard drive. We'll analyze that signal back at base. Copy. Damn it! Something's frying it, Tanner. Give us the frequency. Uh, carrier frequency is nine seven point. Tanner, do you copy? Oh, shit. Tanner, Tanner, I'm seeing some really strange shit down here. Fuck.
All right, this is where we should end up getting our class now, I do believe. What the hell was that? What, what the fuck? fuck? Where is everyone? Good. Good. Maxwell, what the fuck is all this? What does it look like? Sergeant Major, sir, we have to follow quarantine procedure and hold the landing. Whatever the original reports about this planet, they were wrong. There's some kind of anomaly. If we land now, everyone will die. There's no holding the landing. It's too late for that. There's nowhere else to go. an order you always were an asshole look around you we got men and women in need of medical attention now get your asses in gear and do the right thing or i'm gonna have to no contain this now burn the fucking bodies After Maxwell. I got you. Come riders, stop down. That's an order. Sure. Right after you call off your goddamn goons. Sergeant Major, the entire colonization is threatened. We need to warn the forest. Your L riders are the ones who stirred up this threat, imperiled this mission. Bullshit. Alright, so now we're gonna get the inventory. Okay. Yep, I'm still in the in the tutorial here.
interesting inventory page. Maxwell set up a blockade. He's gonna burn everything down. Why? So he can tell the story his way. How the Outriders fucked everything up. He needs to die. I'll blow the wind. Maxwell is the only one who can call up the landing. You need to get into two reasons. That bone shrapnel's a very interesting skill. Combat's definitely a little weird. You do auto pick up ammo, which is nice. Come on, get off the wall. There we go. So you do have to press a button to get off of the cover. Don't let them near. You will answer for this. Yeah, I think he's going to be answering to us. you back into cryo until med lab can save your fucking life don't be ridiculous i'm done for pep talks aren't really my thing <sighs> when is something truly over was it when your people left earth behind was it when you watched the first spaceship crash and burn? Was it when you saw your fellow Outriders crumble at your feet? Was it watching yourself die? But Enoch isn't done with you yet, Outrider. Like I always say, it ain't over till it's over. These are outriders. They're not why we're here. I'm sorry. <sighs> Alright, now things are getting good. Because up until that point, it was just a tutorial and really just kind of confusing. Captain! Not another one! 
Uncle Strider. Does your kind was all dead? Dead? Uncuff me and find out. The anomaly is coming. Let's see how fast you can run. The no man's land, like the others. All right, so all of that was just sort of a tutorial pick your class type thing. We're now at the point that um, we can also pick our class, actually pick our class. Uh, so we can choose from the Technomancer, Pyromancer, Trickster, and Devastator, which, uh, you know what, let's just make it easy and yeah let's just go with the technomancer so we can't change the path later on we'll have to make a new character but that's okay i fully intend to make one of each of the paths characters and I guess uh, I was told wrong. Initially, I was told that there's four classes, but or three classes, but there's actually four classes. We'll probably have to play through that little tutorial thing for each class, in which case I'll edit that out. I hope we don't have to, but... I figured that this was going to introduce our class to us. Okay. Here. All right. So, this is what we get as far as the story. We can test all four classes, explore Rift Town, because the demo has no time limit. There's four side quests and journal entries. We can reach character level 7 and world tier 5. And you can hold on to a certain amount of currency. Plus, I'm assuming the gear that you, um, How to get across this hellhole. like, actually have equipped will transfer Side. over to. What the? Oh, shit. Who the hell are you people? Guess it's shoot first, questions later. Whoa. Did I do that? No. Does this happen? 
I can't pick up that ammo just by walking over it like I could earlier. That time I was able to pick it up though. It's so weird. Alright, there's an ammo crate. Also, one thing I was reading does say that every class heals differently. Run! Hold your position! So that's something to keep in mind. You have to find the class that suits your play style. All right. I could get used to this. All right, we can't shoot through that, unfortunately. So it doesn't look like there is weapon bullet penetration, or at least not without maybe something that has a skill for weapon penetration. I will have to mess with my sensitivity because it kind of feels like my vertical sensitivity is faster than my horizontal sensitivity. And that just doesn't work for me. Oh, get out of the grenade. I'm gonna let that grenade hit me, just see how much damage it does. It actually wasn't even that much damage. With this Tecromancer, it's pretty cool. I think there's supposed to be a gear farm. That's another thing I need to check out. I don't know if gear can be transferred between characters. And I don't know if you can get gear and like, is that gear specific to only one character? So there's definitely a, a lot to figure out. We're gonna have to increase our sensitivity for aimed in sensitivity. This Flares, this storm. I've seen this before. The forest. When we landed. I'm not sure if there's anything anywhere as far as like hidden collectibles. I don't think they really put a lot of collectibles or anything. I know they did mention on that screen journal entries, so that might be like what this game considers a collectible. That's a heavily armored dude. Let's see if he dropped anything. Oh, can't pick up his weapon. I don't know if it's just my controller batteries being low or... There doesn't really seem to be much in the way of vibration for, like, weapons fire or anything in this game. I got myself backed into a bit of a corner against this guy.
You can change and reassign your skills. Okay. Oh, yep. It was my controller batteries. Let's get through this and then uh, switch over to the next character class or try to make the next character class and then go ahead and change said controller batteries. Where is she? Okay, there we go. There. There. What is that? Go, go, go. So we've unlocked world tier two, which is easy. We'll claim those rewards. That's set as the world tier now. World tier two. So Jakob's in trouble, and I need to go save his ass. At least some things never change. They gotta be at each other's throats. And we're now in like the main town. Down Jakob. Now who the hell are these assholes? They're thugs, drug runners, and child slavers. They call themselves the Hounds. And believe me, no one's gonna miss them if you put a few dozen. Why the hell haven't you done something about them already? Alright, so now we're able to use the matchmaking station and get friends in our lobby. They're not eating their own fucking kids like the insurgents were fighting out there. Yeah, I met a few of them. Not so friendly. Huh. Okay, so we can do the quest timeline. We can skip ahead in the quest timeline and things like that if we want to. Oh, there's going to be a stash. There's an appearance change. Okay. The stash is not available in the demo, though. Probably because they don't want us farming and hoarding a whole crap load of loot. This game does force you into a lot of traveling and a lot of load screens. I was trying to get gameplay for each class, all three, or, you know, I found out there's four classes, but I don't know if I'll get gameplay for all four classes before I run out of hard drive space with these darn loading screens. going on out there oh that's cool I can summon a turret Enemies do like to throw a lot of grenades, though. Okay, I don't know exactly how I froze those guys. Oh, that's my melee. My melee ability was how I froze them. 
which actually we're about to die. Well, that's, um, I guess we needed to figure out what happened when we died, but that was a terrible way to go. And that puts us into this load screen again. Okay, so we definitely have to take the fight a little bit slower this time. Uh, I'll try to fight through maybe one or two sections of this quest. And then we'll try and switch and make another character. See if the game lets me actually do that. Dude, I was in cover. Why did it make me get out of the cover? Throw out my turret again. The, the aiming and everything isn't as smooth. So it actually doesn't look like our health really regenerates in cover at all. It seems to only regenerate for this particular class off of a percentage of the damage dealt. And enemies pretty much know when you're aiming at them. Definitely a good thing we're going to stay back at the moment. Just trying to hit his head. Can't quite get a shot on it. Feels like it would actually be um, better to play mouse and keyboard. Alright, we made it through that. Let's get whatever loot we can from around here. Obviously, we're on a low world tier, so it's not like we're going to be getting any sort of stupendous items. Dying didn't seem to really have any sort of negative setback. Um, oh, crap. Melee units. And I'm too used to playing Gears where I can press that button and I'm pressing the wrong button. Alright, let's try to get ahead of these dudes. Holy crap, they're fast though. Uh, probably should not have run that way. go back to my sniper rifle which is my preferred method of dealing with these guys at the moment Oh, 
shot, they just wreck that turret real quick. Holy crap. Alright, we got some mongrels coming up in here. It's nice that my melee can hit multiple targets like that. Super helpful, the fact that it freezes them too. Also, our health fully replenishes no, where's like, Yakov? after the battlefield's been cleared. Which is pretty nice. I like it. Everything's clear. I'll have to test co-op later on. Is that a crate we can get to? Nice. We can. We can get a loot crate over here. Looks like we got some Currency, resource pickup, automatically pick up resources dropped by enemies. Nice. Uh, I think we also got a couple pieces of armor that we might be able to upgrade. Uh, so we do have a shotgun. I'm not going to be using the shotgun, though. Uh, did it automatically equip them? Looks like it automatically equipped the gear that we picked up. There's a skills page, shrapnel, cryo turret. We don't have a third skill left. You can spend class points. Oh my, holy. There's a massive skill tree for the classes. That looks cool. Accolades. Which are like cosmetic items, obviously our journal, and of course the quest map. Okay. Alright, cool. So... You can either dismantle an item, pick up the item, or straight up equip the item. Uh, like this gun has worse stats than the pistol I already have. So we can mark it or unmark. So we can mark it for, I guess, scrapping. We got ourselves a helmet. Anomaly power. Okay. You can view details of an item if you want. And if we dismantle our marked revolver, we get some basic resources. Okay. It looks like you're going to have the ability to customize your character's combat style fairly in-depthly, which that looks cool. Whoa. Oh, sorry, guys. I thought this was the bathroom. You okay? I had it under control. Been a while. Do I know you? <laughs> Kurva! Then I thought you were dead. You'll soon be dead if you don't get your ass to Shears right now. Uh, Shira. All right. Come meet me there. Hmm. Interesting. Shira. I got Yakub out in one. Wait to you. 
That old drunk just refuses to die. <laughs> well, you should come join us. We have some catching up to do. All right, so there is a fast travel. That's nice. All right. Where is the person we need to talk to here? I want to see if it gets me in a bit more combat. At least waypoints are fairly clearly marked. Well, I mean, it looks cool. There's a lot of lore and story stuff that I won't skip with the full game if I get the chance to play it. But um, I still got about 30 years of questions to catch up on. There's a lot of this that I can just skip. But I don't promise I'll have all the answers. Carve a path to the solar tower. Okay, let's do that, and then let's see if by any chance we can um, do some sort of different character or something. One. The best selection in Rift Town can only be found at Mr. Chang's. I don't know what happens if we enter the store, though. Come, see what wonders I have for Steve. Be to win. Not much of an inventory. Uh, don't mind all these. But a paid old man! <laughs> Altered. Uh, who's ordered? What the hell happened? The insurgents dug underneath my troops, blew the whole goddamn front to hell. If you can't open the supply line, we're done for. Okay, so that was a side quest that I picked up. <laughs> That's cool. I can summon a grenade launcher or like rocket launcher thing. I just want to go through this little bit of uh, combat here so you guys actually get to see some combat and then we'll switch to trying to make a new character and see exactly what that does. So that cryo turret is really nice, to say the least. Dude, I love having all of the ice abilities. Obviously, we shouldn't stand in grenade blasts, but it's a little bit too entertaining. And these melee dudes that rush you, you can just do that freeze attack on them, and it's good riddance. That dude up there.
Okay, so we can collect resources. That's cool. And then we can unlock other stuff for uh, fast travel purposes. Where is he? I just figured I'd pick up the side quest so that I don't have to worry about it. I don't know what I collected, but stuff that we're supposed to interact with is clearly marked, which that makes the game more enjoyable. Okay, I definitely can't just bum rush these guys. That ice blast melee is really coming in clutch. Alright, I couldn't throw that over cover. some extra ammo I don't know what just spawned in over here more enemy reinforcements I didn't know I could do a jump freeze move like that. That was cool. Right, there we go. We got a upgraded item. We'll get into crafting and everything later on, I'm sure. Hmm. 
All right. Interesting mechanic. Let's see what that's all about. Doesn't look like I'm going to have the time to show every class. The fact that they can hit me while I'm behind cover and do a lot of damage is honestly kind of annoying. But at least I get some of my health back off of damage dealt. I wish I could aim that barrage a little better. Oh, we're so dead. first blue item it's a really nice what looks to be an assault rifle upgrade so let's go ahead and equip that I'm getting major deja vu in this place um toxic bullet shots inflict toxin on enemy cooldown of eight seconds looks like it's got a higher damage and other than that like the same as our previous rifle like we we'll go ahead and mark that for destruction now. It's never been worth fighting for. So what's it all about for you then? Just trying to live another day. Boss, we're barely holding on. It sounds like I chose a good day to wake up then. Dude, I love this elemental effect. I know I'm very early on into the game, but... We're just gonna back off and get some skills back real quick. Use that nice, fancy rocket launcher.
Oh, set myself on fire. For the moment, it looks like I can carry plenty of ammo, so I'm not really worried on, like, running out of ammo. I'm sure all the classes will be fun to play, but so far this Techromancer is really fun. They look like they've been sautéed. Shit. Be careful. I can carry like 600 rounds of ammo for the assault rifle. That's nice. <clears throat> I'm going in. What are you seeing in there? Some kind of weird electrical sparks flying everywhere. The means are getting close. This altar, did I not mention? He's a goddamn electro freak. You mean he lights up light bulbs? More like flash frying everything for a mile. Look, I know you've always been able to handle yourself, but. This son of a bitch is on a whole other level. As of recently, so am I. Alright, let's see. Uh, this sounds like a boss fight. Let's see what this is about. Remember I said I would finish this quest before I uh, tried to do the other classes. The cinematics kind of get a little choppy, unfortunately. Well, that dude's ugly. Oh, he can teleport. We almost died from that electric attack of his. It wasn't too bad. His electric attack hurt. Definitely had to keep moving. Less of a cover game, more of a constant damage and relying on the the feedback health. Rider, you've had your first kill. We also do not die so easily, do we? Seth. Come. We must speak. All right, well, that seems like a good amount of gameplay to go through for one class. I just need to get to a bit of a save point if I can uh, to find one. I just got a class point. So I got my first class point. 
I'm gonna try and like travel back to town and then uh, I'll see if I can like back out to the main menu and make a new class because my base recording has been like almost two hours so All right, that's where we made it to. Yeah, let's fast travel back to camp and we'll call it there. That should give us a save, I would think. All right, so I'm at world tier three now. Um, let's see. Okay, I can return to lobby. Game is not paused. Good to know. World Tier 3, let's claim that reward. It's a scrap pack. Moving up to World Tier 3 gives us... Enemy levels unchanged, dropped item level should be our level, loot rarity modifier 100%, no legendary drop chance. Loot tier four. What do we need to do to unlock loot tier four? Honestly, not sure what we need to do to unlock it. it says 04 of 15. Enemy level increase. Legendary drop rate modifier bonus 10%. So we do need to get to that tier eventually. I'll end up playing this game more on stream, uh, but let's go ahead and return to lobby. It says all unsaved progress will be lost. So here's to hoping that that fast travel counted as a save. If not, I don't know exactly how to save on this game. Ah, there we go. There's my characters list. So we do have plenty of space to go ahead and create other characters. Uh, looks like you have to go through the entire uh, customized character setup all over again. Uh, let's see if we can use the same character name on multiple characters. Nope. You can't. All right. We'll just go with a random character name then. Save character and let's see... Let's see what happens. Are we forced to do the prologue? Do you want to skip the prologue? Yes, skip the prologue. Let's see where that puts us. And you recover health from enemies that stood too close as a devastator. Or should we do pyromancer? Well, let's just take the characters in order. We'll do the... Jonah's going to be a pyromancer, because why not? I'll stop after um, just this character. I'm not going to have the hard drive space to go through all four characters, especially if it makes me play through the prologue for each one, even though I did say skip the prologue. Just because we spent too much time on the loading screens and we spent too much time on uh like the cutscene cinematic stuff so we don't have to fight through the entire just um this hill. prologue but we do have to fight through on this side. all of this oh, section again who the hell are you people 
And you can mark an enemy with your, like, actual melee. I'll just clear out this little section. And then we'll make the characters and show each one of them. So Pyromancer looks kind of cool. Once again, we've got the sniper rifle. I'm going to push him more, though. Light the guys on fire. Shoot them. You have to be a little bit more precise than I would like with the melee. Those dudes always drop a grenade on death, it looks like. Alright, so this is a very different play style compared to the other class, the Techromancer that I was playing. This dude is much more up in your face set them on fire burn them destroy them type of uh play style with that fire being able to go through cover i'll play each class and uh if you guys want to check in with me later and see what class I like better or something like that, you're welcome to do so. But we're just going to get this little bit of... Uh, if we can play through this relatively quickly. I was hoping to unlock the second skill. Maybe I can skip these enemies. Not sure how good of an idea this is right now, but. Ah. So we can't skip the enemies, unfortunately. But we are much better equipped. We're definitely tankier. But we're also more of a, a close range class right now. Well, that was, um, Interesting. I'm going to try and just go through that part at least so you can see initially how the classes play. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the loading screen, which should save our progress for this character, hopefully, um, because that should unlock the world tier. I'm not sh I think world tier is specific to each character. This guy just sounds like he'd be a trickster. As the trickster, each enemy killed in close range heals you and grants a portion of shield.
All right, so here we go with the trickster. I just gotta get across this hellhole. Which only recovers health by killing enemies at close range. What the? Not sure how that's gonna Shit. fare. Who the hell are you people? Guess it's shoot first, questions later. Oh. Did I do that? How is this happening? To me? The whole knocking enemies into like a weird space-time thing is an interesting mechanic. Ooh, my, that really made them explode, okay. The shield's an interesting mechanic. is definitely a different play style but this is really similar to the pyromancer only I would say that this character's abilities are a little bit more ferocious and geared to the very brutal close quarters combat Here's a different crate I never picked up before. Oh, that just gave us the shotgun. Which actually, for this particular character, the shoddy might be the way to go. Gotta remember that the game is not paused while we're in the menu. And all we have to do is kill enemies at close range, so we don't have to do anything else. Like, we don't have to tag them with our ability like we did with the Pyromancer. Yeah, this class is, is definitely more of a, a brawler class. brawler shotgun class over here not really worried too much about taking damage because we're healing that damage back that's a very interesting mechanic I can kind of see how they're getting a, a bit of a multi-lane feel with these classes. Pyromancer has the ability to stay back a bit, a bit longer range with uh, at least that starting ability. Remember, these are not taking into account the entire skill tree and end game or build gear pieces, anything like that. Just initial first impressions of how those characters function. But it seems like the one I started with, the Technomancer, is going to be the longest range, more of a stay-in-the-back, support, snipe, assault rifle damage kind of class. Pyromancer is going to be more of that mid-range, more maybe assault rifle, SMG, a little bit of close quarters. 
The uh, uh, trickster is definitely an assassin class, so probably really high crit damage, close in-your-face weapons like shotgun assault rifle combo or SMG if the game has it. Maybe, um, you know, something even more devastating if that's a thing. And we're about to check out what the Devastator is like. Now, from the description, the Devastator is supposed to be more of a tanky enemy or a tanky class. So we'll have to see exactly. I think Techromancer or Pyromancer is probably going to be my favorite class only because of the fact that I do like to stay back. I wish these loading screens weren't so long as well. Like I said, Devastator's listed as a close range tank. I just gotta get across this hellhole. What the fuck's happening? I don't belong on this side. What the? Oh shit. Who the hell are you people? Uh, guess it's shoot first, questions later! Whoa. Did I do that? Oh, this is happening to me. Yeah, so basically right now we have a very similar play style to the trickster. I could definitely see you running through this with a, you know, a trickster or a close range class like um this devastator Run! which actually i haven't uh i forgot to grab my sniper rifle so let me go back here and grab that real quick not that i'm going to use the sniper rifle because at least in this the tutorial thing first mission just your skills are devastating enough The whole jump and ground slam mechanic. This is definitely a very, very close quarters, brutal mechanic. It seems like my accolades, well, those transfer between characters. That's kind of cool. Because I had Assault Rifle 1 on um, my very first character, and now I have Assault Rifle 2. I've seen this before. In the forest. When we landed. Again, I could probably use a shotgun on this class. There's no cooldown with the whole um, melee attack. That's very nice. This can't be real. Oh, he's lit me on fire. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> yep. Tank could definitely be a fun class. Especially if there's actually some perks that allow you to really tank. Gollum. That's more of a tank perk. Okay. We'll have to look at the skill trees and everything later. 
Um, I didn't get to show as much gameplay as I wanted, so we may actually show a second video or um, something maybe a little more in depth on each one of the different classes, at least when it gets closer to the full game launch. But I really think that uh, this game has potential. So here is to hoping, fingers crossed, that we go ahead and get a review copy of it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions or anything, definitely ask. I'll do my best to help out. And let me know what you thought of the demo as well down below in the comment section. Until next time, stay frosty.